Hi, how's it going? I'm certified sommelier Leslie Miller of AmuseWine.com. Tonight I am here at Cooks of Crocus Hill with the best of the best that we could find. Certified Cicerone Michael Agnew of aperfectpint.net, culinary director for Cooks of Crocus Hill, Chef Mike Shannon. We are here to kind of lay out some of the highlights of our night. We had a fabulous, fabulous pairing of food, wine, and beer all together and uh, thought we'd run through. Um, one of the very first wines that we poured along with kind of a, a warmer up beer that we had for the night. Uh, Michael, the beer that we had to kind of sit down? Yeah, the beer that we had to uh, just welcome people in the door, put something in their glass as soon as they come in was uh, Steel Toe Brewings Promiter. Uh, Steel Toe is one of the newest breweries in Minnesota, right in St. Louis Park. And Provider is just a simple blonde ale, nothing fancy. It's a pounding beer, as I call it. <laughs> pounding beer, I like it. Up next, Chef, what do we have for our first course? Uh, the first course out tonight was a warm bacon vinaigrette strawberry spinach salad. So all those things that have to do with um, some vegetal but brightness of strawberry, and you can't go wrong with Yes, pig. can't go wrong with Piggy. The bacon is what we tried to highlight. Um, this is A to Z night and day. It's a red blend. We have a, a whole package full of grapes here. Everything from Sangiovese, Syrah, Merlot, Cab, and Cab Franc. This is one of the best wines out of Oregon, I think, for the dollar, A to Z. Um, out of the Rogue Valley, actually, so a little bit south of the Willamette. And um, really fabulous, don't you think? Worked out nice yes. Picked up the strawberries, kind of highlighted the bacon. Uh, next course on the list. It was roasted vegetables with an herbed aioli. And with that, I put Iyengar Irish Adonko. Wow. So, a, uh, I speak German. <laughs> uh, it's a Munich dark lager. Um, has nice, toasty, a little bit of caramel overtones, uh, crisp, clean lager finish, a little bit of spicy hops. Really picked up the caramelization and the toast and the vegetables. And I gotta say, with the Brussels sprouts in, the, in that mix, it was particularly good. It was that toasty element. It also had enough. Um, in it to really cut the aioli, so okay. that didn't become something that was was overpowering at all. It's a nice, nice pairing. Yeah, really, really like this pairing. I agree. It sort of warmed up all those elements. Our main dish for the night was moving to the main course. It was a, a, a classic pot roast. For mm -hmm. that. It was a chuck roast um, with some roasted shallots and carrots, and then also on that plate though was some truffled potatoes. Yum. Like a little twice baked baked potato skin. Truffle. Potato skin truffle, yeah, truffle potato Yummy. skin. Is kind of they were good. So I paired up a just a really simple Bordeaux Superior. This is uh, Chateau Saint Marie. I really like this because it has some nice dark fruit to it. This is about 72% Merlot with about a you know the remaining 28% being Cabernet. And it has I thought some nice round flavor, also fairly fleshy, so that it went with the pot roast really well. But it seems to me that the pairing in the night here um, with that hot roast plate was what Michael poured to go with those potato skins. Mm -hmm. So this was the, the Founders Porter. It's a robust porter, uh, plenty roasty, lots of chocolatey flavors going on there. Um, it was a little too robust for the pot roast actually, kind of overpowered it. But with those potato skins, the, really I think killer. what, what really did it was the truffle oil. Yes. Uh, brought out some earthy flavor in the, in the potato skins that really went well with the kind of earthy roasty in this in this beer. Uh, so that, and I gotta say that actually surprised me. Yeah. Actually I wouldn't have expected this beer to go with those potato skins. The truffle, not overdone, is your big secret of the truffle. Don't overdo it, but that beer really picked, met that flavor and picked it up very nicely. Absolutely, so delicious. Um, last of we the We finished night. up with a s'more pot de creme, thank you pot de creme, but little milk chocolate in there, and the toasted graham cracker crust with fired marshmallows on top. So all the elements of pot de creme, I mean, um, s'more in a custard. Exactly. So two different routes, actually. Our pairings um, couldn't have been more different. Yeah. Um, I paired up a Moscato from Astoria Lounge. This is just a really simple, um, easy drinking. Uh, this is uh, a little bit of Prosecco to kind of keep it fairly clean so it's not too uh, syrupy thick. And um, this went definitely, I think, more so with the custard aspect and maybe the marshmallow thickness of the dessert. Michael? Uh, I went with La Trappe Quadruple, uh, a Belgian Trappist ale, strong, 
Uh, I was really aiming for the marshmallows and the graham cracker because this the it's a fairly sweet beer, although tasted with the dessert. It certainly certain didn't come off didn't come off as sweet at all. Uh, but it's got the the Belgian yeast character with the banana and a little spice uh, reminds me of marshmallows already. Absolutely. Uh, and then lots of kind of bready caramel undertones in the in the malt. To, to latch on with a graham cracker. The chocolate's just a bonus. I know, absolutely. <laughs> so much fun. Chef, was there like a pairing for you that was kind of surprising or something that was a little bit different for you as far as like any of the courses of the beer wine? Um, no real surprises. I really liked um, the porter with the pot roast yeah. plate and specifically the truffle potato skins, which is kind of a new. Uh, a new dish for us, um, but the, your Moscato with the dessert really just kind of hit lots of elements that mm -hmm. I really, really liked. It was nice. Those orangey flavors with the chocolate almost creates like this dreamsicle of sorts. So again, sure. another successful class here at Christopher Brazil. Um, we hope that you come see us soon, and thanks guys for, I would toast you, but um, thanks for, for <laughs> <Toast>. <laughs> to a great class. Cheers.